God's plan for me is in his book. That's the prophetic focus for the month. We have been examining God's plans for our lives is in his book as our teaching focus for the month. What is a vision? A vision is the unveiling of God's plan and purpose for us either as a people or as individuals. And the vision of all is packaged in a book. Isaiah 29, verse 11 and 12. And then over to the one who could not read. They say, read, I pray this. I can't read because I'm not learning. The book was handed over to one who is literate. Read, I pray thee. God's plan for you is in that book. He said, it is sealed. I can't assess it. The truth is the simplest form of knowledge that just anybody can assess. But it's only accessible by the redeemed. Unto us who are saved, it's given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Unto others, they are mere stories that don't make meaning. Mark chapter 4 and verse 11. Until one is born again, they cannot assess the mysteries of the kingdom. Number two, it's not open to the learned, just because they are learned. As long as you are without, you can't assess it. A natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God because they are foolishness to him. Neither can he know them because they can only be uncovered by spiritual individuals. You can be born again and not be spiritual. You can be carnal. Like the Corinthian church. Are you not carnal? Do you not work as men? Just no difference. Anything goes. That's not Christianity. Only the spiritual can assess the things of the Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. The plan is there, but first you must be born again, two you must be spiritual to assess it. First, one has to be born again, secondly, it has to be spiritual to assess it. One can be a long standing believer and be carnal. One can be a yesterday believer and be spiritual. These are two covenant ways to assess God's plan and purpose for us from his book. The plan is set to the heaven forever, but not for Jack and Harry. It's for the redeemed, the born again, and it's for the spiritual among the born again. No wonder I said to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Romans 8, 6. God's plan for you and I is in this book and covering all areas of human needs. He's giving us all things that pertain to life and godliness through access to the content of this book. Number two, God's word is a creator's manual. From where we locate, who we are in the sight of God now that we are born again, what we are worth, what our content, and what we can do to actualize it. What we can do and what we must do to actualize all of that package. Now, James 1. And verse 22 to 25. He said, Be ye 22 to 25. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceive your own self. For anyone be a hearer of the word and not a doer, it's like a man that looks at himself in a mirror and walk away. 
and immediately forget what manner of man he looks like. But whoever looks into this perfect law of liberty, the word of life, he not be a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, a compliant with the demands. This man shall be blessed in his deed. So it's not enough to know it and what is loaded in it. It's important to know what we must do to actualize those things in our lives. Why call you me Lord, Lord, without doing what I tell you to do? You're wasting your time. Luke 6, verse 46. Why are you calling me Lord, Lord, without doing what I want? Say you should do. Mary say whatever I tell you to do, do it, and you see his hand. You want to see God's hand, stretch forth to deliver his plan and purpose, whatever he tells you to do, to make it happen, do it. This is so important. His plan is here, as I said, by the redeemed and by those who are spiritual among the redeemed. It's for all, but accessible to those who will meet the conditions for access. You won't make access to the plan of God for your life. Yeah. Because your future and my future is in it. 1977, the Lord showed me that I know the plans I have for you the plans of welfare and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. A future and a hope. Then the Holy Ghost came on and said, your future is in my plan, not in your plan. It got me fired up with a new zeal for the plan of God for my life, to assess the plan of God for my life at time. It's awesome. Now, I wasn't called to ministry. I wasn't planning to go to full-time ministry in my life. I just love Jesus. God has his plan for all of us in the book. You don't have to be a minister to be spiritual. Just connect your heart with God. Genuinely, tirelessly, continuously, and begins to unveil his plan to you. All that I've heard of my father have made it known to you because you are in love with me. You are my friend. So anybody can walk his way to become his friend. By just enjoying doing whatever he says to do. Can I hear your amen? amen. First, let's know that the season we are, we are in is a season of divine opportunities. Fasting and prayer is the platform to assess divine opportunities. To experience the reality of God's agenda for our life. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? Otherwise, it's not the fast that I have commanded or the fasting that I have prescribed to deliver the following values in our lives? To lose the bands of wickedness of your life. To undo the heavy burden and things depressing you. And to let the oppressed go free among my people. And that ye break every yoke. That's my purpose for it. I've not called for a fast to punish you. I've called for a fast to furnish you. And polish you and make your life glorious and enviable. Fasting is ordained for that. And then verse 8 says, I'm reading Isaiah 58 and verse 6. Verse 8 says, Then shall your light break forth like the morning. Explosive revelation. Outbreak of revelation, I call it. And your head shall spring forth speedily. So it imparts on our health. Then shall thou call, and now we answer. It enhances express answer to our prayers. Thou shall cry, and now we say, here I am. And verse 10 said, your life shall break out of obscurity. Out of obscurity. You won't be locked up in the corner anymore. You won't be forgotten your promotion in your place of work. And the Lord shall guide thee continually in a fast. 
and thou shalt be like a watered garden. And like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Amen. Amen. So we assess guidance in the fast. Amen. Amazing thing, sir. When the Lord is your guide, you shall not want. They tested not when he led them through the desert. He brought them forth water out of the rock. He cleared the rocks also and the waters gushed out. They were experiencing a gush in the desert. By the leading of the Lord. Isaiah 48 and verse 21. No one shall take a step of regret anymore. Yeah. Amazing package. So it's not punishment. It's refurbishing. Renewal. May the benefits loaded in fast be duly delivered to the fool in everyone's life. Yeah. For those who may be challenged at this time, others are standing in the gap for you. So the blessing will answer in your life. For our very senior citizens, who by reason of strength could not engage in this, others are standing in the gap for you. So these prophetic proclamations belong to you also. Yeah. For those challenging their health and have perhaps some medication, your answer has finally come. Yeah. Let me pause here to let you know by the signal of the Holy Ghost throughout our churches worldwide, we have passed on a prophetic decree that anyone that has any form of health challenge whether it be your sight, your ears, your head, take a shot of the oil that is being blessed today. If anyone doesn't have, take a shot of the shilo oil that may be in your house and take a shot of it every night before going to bed. And the Lord spoke to me, it will clear out every child for your system. Before the week is over, everyone here shall be singing a new song <laughs> regarding their health in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Now we look at four of those plans for this service. Number one, we are redeemed to be more than conquerors. How? He has translated us. Colossians 1 and verse 13. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his own son who is the light of the world forever. I am the light of the world. So our followers men shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Light that sets free from the harassments of the paths of darkness. Light that puts on top of all the paths of darkness put together. How? Because he also said, and ye are the light of the world after my order. Chapter 5 of Matthew, verse 14. The word goes further to say that we are children of light and we should work as children of light. Ephesians 5 and verse 5. So everything shows that we have unquestionable dominion over the path of darkness. And now this means we more than a conqueror. Because the world is under the siege of the path of darkness. The world is under the siege of the path of darkness. But the oil for the lamp that we are is the world. He said in Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine. Keep it shining. How do we keep it shining? The entrance of the world gives light. 
Psalm 119, verse 130. It is the light of the world that keeps our light shining. The more of that light we assess, the brighter our light in the midst of darkness. Amen. So important. In Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8, fasting provides a platform for assessing the realm of outbreak of light. Outbreak of light. Outbreak of light. Which keeps our light shining brighter and brighter and brighter, which is God's agenda for us. The five foolish virgins didn't have oil in their lamp, so the light, the lamp went off. The light went, the light went off. They went to others, please give us of your oil. They said, "No, I would not be enough for you, both you and I. Go and um, buy for yourself." So you walk your way into assessing the light from the world by yourself. Matthew 5, verse 9, 25, verse 9. Go to them that sell and buy for yourself. This is one season to buy the oil for your lamb that will keep burning all through the year. Can I hear your light? Amen. Amen. Darkness will forever be scared by the power of light. Darkness can place a barrier on the way of light. Darkness cannot challenge the authority of light. That's what makes us more than conquerors. Darkness can never challenge the authority of light. The light shines in darkness and darkness can do nothing against it. John 1 and verse 5. So, to actualize our battle of modern conqueror, we must continue to go for more and more light so we can keep shining brighter and brighter by the day. We have these 21 days of prayer and fasting to open up the year. Then we have monthly prayer and fasting to keep securing oil in our lamp so our light can keep shining. In that day that thou fastest, shalt thou shalt read from the book of the law. <laughs> That's one of the privileges for access to outbreak of light. Moses fasted for 40 days for the world. He returned with the two tables of the, of the law after 40 days. So all those revelations from Genesis, my friend, all the way to Deuteronomy, to Leviticus, Moses secured them on the altar of fasting. Where was he when the Lord created the world? How did he come to know it? Just like John went to the eyes of Patmos for the world, for the world, and he received the end time agenda of God in the book of Revelation. So it's time to get on the fast for the world. For the world. Lord, show me the way to go forward. I'm staying around this corner too long. Come on now, Lord, help me. I went on a three-day adventure in prayers for access to the book of Ezekiel. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. I went another five days for access to the book of Acts of the Apostles. I was literally floating in the course of that episode. It's time to go for the war. It will make all the difference. It will make all the difference. So, make sure you go with the world along with this fast. Don't starve your spirit man anymore. Don't let the oil in your lamp go off. That's the way to make it. So go for the word, go for fasting and prayer to enhance access to the word, and then your more than a conqueror lifestyle shall be established. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. I hope it's not too fast for us. 
I was saying, get the power of faith. Well, no one ever doubts what you can see. So, revelation is a booster of faith. No one ever doubts what he can see, even if his name is Thomas the Senior. Amen. Or, or, or Thomas Junior. Ju Thomas Senior has gone. If you are Thomas Junior, when Thomas Senior saw Jesus, he said, My Lord, my God. Nobody ever doubts what he can see. The cheapest way to strengthen faith is access to explosive revelation. Access to what? And through faith, they subdue kingdom. More than conquerors. As more than conquerors. As more than conquerors. Whole nations were converted to God as more than conquerors. When Daniel came out of the den, the king swore. Anybody who says any ought against the God of Daniel is dead. The God of Daniel has won through Daniel. <laughs> Amen. Light and understanding. And wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, was given to this Daniel. When Daniel Shia and Abednego came out of the fiery furnace, there was a law, a decree passed. If anybody talks nonsense against eh, his house, I'll be turned to dung hill. I say so. This is my signature. All the kingdoms under Babylon bow to the God of Shia, Meshach, and Abednego. Because they trusted in their God. Because he believed, Daniel believed in his God. That's how faith empowers believers to become more than a conqueror. Please take responsibility. It's your opportunity. Please take responsibility. It's your opportunity. Get your note on your side to respond, to receive God's response to your prayer and your findings in the world. This is my own little note that I took on the 9th for this prayer season and I have my black, bright cloud days preceding the fast page 9 to 10 amen. amen and I have the fasting the light that I receive from it from 11 to wherever we are now but there are some things noted here in page 193 It's a reward of those who diligently, business-likely seek him. God is not an idol. He answers prayers. And it is God that shows us light. He shows light when we are on the prayer and fasting altar. These things are real. Get down to them. They are real. Get down to them. I just was on with a project now that's in the press, and that is from my archives. Two OCs to two two twenty one, ten twenty one. The things he teaches me, the things he rebukes me on, the instructions he gives me from his book. Let's get down to business. Be not slow in business, but fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. So serving the Lord is business. Jesus said, don't you think I must be about my father's business? It's business. You can't get out of it more than you invest into it. No one can get out of it more than you invest into it. You get into prayer at this stage, in our life as a church, and you don't know what to pray. And now go, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Father, oh Mother, oh Son, oh Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm more than a conqueror. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I mean, with all the prayer bank you have, that is prayer ready items. With all the things you have to inject in your area of need, my God, your spiritual needs first. I wrote 33 prayer points. In preparing for this season, he sent me answers on five pages on one of them yesterday. It's time to get down to business. 
Romans 12, 11. Be not slothful in business, but fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Continuing instant in prayers. Verse 12. That's how to be more than a conqueror. Number two, we are redeemed to enjoy health and vitality. Number two, plan of God for his children. Himself took our infirmity and bore our sicknesses. Matthew 8 and verse 17. It was breeze for our iniquity. It was wounded for our trespasses. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 5, 4, Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. And 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 4 puts it in the past tense. By whose stripes he was healed. She said to the matter. So before we were born, we were healed. Glory to God. But what does it take to actualize it? My son, attend to my words. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. Give inclined thy ear to my saints. Let them not depart from your heart, your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they shall be life to them that find them and health to all their flesh. Feeding on the world will stop sickness from feeding on your life. The word health here is translated by other translators as medicine to all their flesh. Shall be medicine to all their flesh. So God's word is the principal balm in Gilead that gets a believer immune to sickness and disease. When you cannot read, you can hear, so plug it. Amen. In our church, we have some compilation on DVD of about uh, 89, I can't remember now, teachings on healing. Plug it in. Praise God. The master surgeon will show up as his word enters your spirit. Not plug it in and sleep. Plug in it in to hear, receive, and believe. And it takes place. Whose own healings are there? They shall be health to all their flesh. To all their flesh. What's in the world that heals? Divine nature. Second Peter 1 4. We are by giving us these exceeding great and precious promises that by this one we become partakers of divine nature, having escaped from the corruption as in the world through lust. Divine nature, what is it worth? Immune against sickness and disease. Can God be sick? So the more of divine nature we partake of, the more sickness free we become. As our divine nature increases, sickness begins to vanish. When we now go to the fullness of, of this nature, we become absolutely sickness free. Let's grow in the world and we'll stop groaning under sickness and disease. Let's grow in the world, the relevant world, the prescribed world, the healing world. And then we become the more sickness free. That's what to do. Number three, engage in fasting and prayer. Then your health shall spring forth speedily. We read it just a bit time ago. Some time ago. And number four, stop speaking sickness or you'll never be free from it. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. I think, I think, I think this looks like cancer. You have acquired it without knowing. 
the way I'm feeling, it looks like brain tumor. We have just ordered for it. Life and death are not in the power of diagnosis. Life and death are in the power of your tongue. Life and death are not in the power of your feelings. Life and death are in the power of your tongue. You shall not have what they say, you shall have what to say. You say to this man, they get off. It shall be so. And you shall have whatever you say. Not what they say, not what they think, but what you say. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. Angels don't know joke. Everything that comes out of your mouth, they carry it out. I think it's obvious. This thing is cancer. They say, don't say so. No, no, no. Let me tell you what it is. So what I need now is money. I don't need God. I need money. <laughs> they say, let me pray for you. No, 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 not prayer. I say, I need money. I must go to Canada. There's a place there that this with this one. They say, what kind of uh, cancer? The way my tongue is doing. <laughs> it's cancer of the tongue. My God, they just acquired it and registered it. You know, when you buy a car, you have to register it to use it. <laughs> is there no Bob Gilead? Why are you provoking me to anger by your strange God? I didn't give you money to lavish on sickness and disease. No one here will waste their resources <laughs> on sickness and disease in the name of Jesus Christ. Be careful what you say. Angels don't know jokes. Don't say for an angel is an error. He doesn't know error. Anything you say is what you want. Give me hot water even when you are sweating. It will bring you very hot water that's boiling like this. No, I didn't say so. That's what I heard. That man may die of thirst because the angel won't reverse it. He doesn't know error. Take it. You told me I went. <laughs> Why am I having this packet? You already was falling for what you feel. And whatever negative thing you feel befalls you. I feel a strong, very strong waist pain. He said, I help you establish it. <laughs> so he stamps strong waist pain. <laughs> I've never slept the last two weeks. Okay, you won't sleep the middle of the year. That means you're enjoying it. <laughs> you're calling for it. He said, cost not your mouth to cause your flesh to sin. And that's it before an angel was an error. Why should God be angry with you and destroy the works of your hand? You shall not be destroyed. Yeah. Would you pray with me with your right hand lifted? Set a watch over my mouth, O oh Lord, and a guard over my lips. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Number three, we are redeemed to enjoy a glorious married life. Because two are better than one, not worse. Not better and worse, better than one. We are redeemed to enjoy a triumphant marriage. Why? One shall chase a thousand, and two shall put ten thousand to flight. When redeemed to enjoy a peaceful home, why? God is not the author of confusion, but of peace in every church of the saint. All we need is to know what we must do to actualize it. And it's all lined up in Ephesians 5 and verse 23 to 30. It's all lined up there. Just take your part. 
and don't be bogged by the other party's part. When you take your part in full, the other party will fall in line. It's only a matter of time. Take your part in full and watch the other party fall in line. Not without accepting responsibility because Adam became a dummy. He, he was in the garden before the wife came. It was the wife who now gave her the food. I guess it was the wife that was saying, let's go around that tree. Let's find out what is in it. Because he told the wife when she arrived, that garden we mustn't get there. And I'm not sure he went there. But the wife was finding out why. He was not the one that was told. And so they went there. Satan wasn't looking for them. He met them there. Or did you find that Satan was looking for them to give them the food? He met them there. He said, I know what you are here for. You are wondering why we are told not to eat this. You will be like God. God doesn't want anybody to be like him. I'm telling you the truth. Tonight I came from heaven. <laughs> eat it. That's what God eats when he came here. Anytime he comes, that's what he eats. Hmm? Adam said, God told me myself that I mustn't eat this thing. Satan said, he said, you know, to eat, not even to touch. Mm -mm. God didn't say not to touch. He said, don't eat. He just cajoled them. And they went on. It is not love to see your partner going to drink acid and say, no, I love her. Anything she wants, she can drink. That's wickedness. Wickedness by excellence. Or you see your husband carrying you away from Christ. Amen. And they say, look, you know I submit to you in everything, but not against the world. Whoever puts his hand upon the plan, looks back, cannot be fit for the kingdom. Yes, sir. Please consider this stand. I'm not going to church anymore. He's going to the devil because you must go somewhere. You are either going to church or going to a shrine. You can't be neutral. You are either spiritual or carnal. You can't be neutral. You're either walking with Jesus or walking with the devil. You cannot be neutral. Everything in wisdom, we just bring peace like a river. Can I hear your amen? amen. Love shall not fail in your family. Amen. Now, the price for peace is knowledge. No, it's a grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God. Great peace as today, whose mind is stayed on him. You're walking by the world, walking by the world, walking by the world. Everything will start falling in line. Can I hear your amen? amen? My prayer is that nobody's marriage will constitute a headache in his life amen. or in her life. Amen. Don't watch either of the party stray away from the Lord. That will be the end of peace in that home. In love, in kindness, in genuine value for heaven, get any same party back on course. So without Jesus, forget about peace, forget about harmony, forget about love. It's only available here in the kingdom. Any home that has been challenged to the point of separation, I decree a restoration. Everyone on the line for divorce, I decree a return one to another. Yeah. A three-four cord is not easily broken. So when children come online, it becomes stronger. And no matter what, everyone called barren here, your year has finally come. You will carry your miracle children this time. Yeah. We'll dedicate them this year. Yeah. That Dickens said, God bless them today with a set of triplets. Amen. Today with a set of triplets. I thank God for the day I came into this commission 2006. Blessing everywhere, remaining children. And God just decorated them with three at a time. Three at a time. We had that life testimony. 
today. Your time for decoration has finally come. The season of frustration is ended in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, number four. We are redeemed to be fruitful as the seed of Abraham. Christ died on the cross to bring the redeemed under the blessings of Abraham. So whatever God said to his people in scriptures now applies to us as believers in Christ. We are spiritual Jews and the spiritual is stronger than the natural. If you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and he has come to the promise. We children are here to the promise as Isaac was. Galatians 4, 28. What did God say? What's God's plan for the Jews? His people in scriptures. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 14. There shall not be made of female barren among you, nor among your cattle. So no matter which side is affected, it's covered. Whether it's the man or the woman, is covered. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, everyone called childless, your year has finally come. We are celebrating your miracle this year. You will sing your song and dance your dance this year. God will make you to laugh this year. And all that here will laugh with you. One, know that fruitfulness of the womb and other areas of your life is your heritage in Christ. Psalm 127 verse 3. He said, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. So it's your heritage. It's my heritage. Two, it's also a reward for your worship. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. Exodus 23, 25, and 26. Thou shalt serve the Lord your God. He shall bless your bread and your water. And I will take something away from the midst of thee. You shall not be barren or cast or young in the land. The number of your days I will multiply. I will fulfill. Now, that means we are not permitted to be a victim of miscarriage or barrenness. So today, by this anointing, every plague of miscarriage is over. Every harassment of barrenness in your body is over. Every challenge of business and career barrenness is over. I love the testimony of my daughter. They just saw something on Shiloh, and the interviewer said, are you a winner? There's no point for interview. And gave her a higher position than she applied for. She was serving the Lord in her Zoom when the telephone call came through. She was serving the Lord in her Zoom. My God. So her career barrenness was over. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody here joined the Sanctuary Keepers uh, group. Uh, it was near Shiloh. So she was posted to a very dignified place in one of the toilets. She served God throughout, you know, toilet in Shiloh is quite uh, an assignment. January, she became pregnant. Amen. So we are not permitted to be barren in our body or in whatever thing concerns us. Then my daughter finished her uh, master's degree. She thought she would get a job straight, but it wasn't forthcoming. She applied and applied until she applied herself to the instructions. Then heavens opened up. Oh, you're a winner. No need for interview. Winners are very good people. 
Amen. Now, that is the winner's DNA. We are highly prized wherever we are found. Every genuine winner is a highly prized personality wherever they are found. You know, a Covenant University certificate gives you express access or landmark express access because of the DNA, DNA. that has been transmitted to you. <laughs> Amen. Now, if you are not a member of a family, you can't access the DNA there. They don't sell it in the market. <laughs> they don't sell DNA. Oh, you know where they sell? <laughs> now, please help me by John's DNA. They say how? Open his body. <laughs> no, it won't, it won't mix. They are immiscible blood. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> now, this season will lead to your decoration, yeah. your colorful furnishing. Yeah. It will turn your challenges to celebration. Yeah. It will make this year a walkover year for you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. This is your day. Yeah. It will answer to you in grand style. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Be born again. And remain so. Keep serving the Lord in truth and indeed. You are not permitted to be barren. Don't mumble. Don't grumble. It never adds value to anybody. It makes God turn his back on people. God is a good God and is very good to you. That's why you are still here. That's why you are still in the kingdom. Celebrate his good hand, then he will show his outstretched arm to silence your enemies. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. As we want to round up this morning, you are here, you want to turn your life over to Jesus. I want to pray with you. The gateway to all that we are talking about is new birth, which is an experience, not an ideology. If any man be in Christ, a new creature, all things are passed away, behold, all things have become new. Jesus, save my soul, forgive me my sins. Make me a new creature. Make me a member of God's own family. Forgive my sins, because I'm set to accept you as my Lord and Savior. Wherever you are, you like me to pray that prayer with you? Please stand to your feet. I'm praying for you right there where you are. I'm praying for you there, right there where you are. Stand to your feet. You want Jesus to save your soul this morning. You want to become a child of God? Please stand and remain standing, please. I'll be praying for you right now in a moment. God bless you. God bless, God bless you. Now, there are also people here this morning that need to rededicate their lives to Jesus. Reconnect back to their Heavenly Father. Maybe you are one saved, but through certain challenges of life, there was a disconnect between you and your Heavenly Father. You want to return back home to your Heavenly Father today. Wherever you are, stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. You want to dedicate your life to Jesus? Stand to your feet. You want to dedicate your life to Jesus? Stand to your feet. There is no future for a here and there believer. There is no future. There is no future. Let him not think he shall receive anything from God. You want to return fully back to your God? Please stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. Church, give the Lord a big hand for these precious people. Amen. Everybody standing, please bow your heads. Lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this simple prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud and clear. Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again, that I may be justified. Right now, I believe that my sins are now forgiven. 
I'm justified by your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the faith. By your grace, I will serve you all the days of my life. By your grace, I will end my journey in eternity with Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Keep your hands up. Now, I cover every one of us standing here today with the precious blood of Jesus. Remain covered against all satanic assaults in the precious name of Jesus. Remain covered against all satanic assaults. No force from hell will draw you back from following Jesus. It's settled forever. You will make it to heaven. You will enjoy a triumphant life on earth. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please complete your forms and pass them over to the church officials around with you. Take care of that fellow, please. Out. Please, out. Be fast about it. Glory to God. Well, uh, very importantly, before we show that in this service, we're making available this morning three publications. Unveiling Vision 2022, which we had in an epistle now, and then towards making the most of the ongoing 21 days of prayer and fasting, and forces behind sustainable church growth, so you can engage them in your prayers more intensely now because you know what they are worth and what they do. We have these three, I believe. Ushers have made them available to most of us. Do you have your copies? If you have your copies, leave them up. If you have your copies of these circulated materials, leave them up. Ushers, please move around with speed. CC, you join. Everybody join. Let's do it quickly. Get your copies right now. And then we circulated some last week. If you are not here last Sunday because you are still on holiday, you just came. Please get hold of them. Welcome to 2022, our year of more than conquerors. Two thousand and two more than conquerors intercessory prayer guidelines. And then two thousand and twenty-two winners personalized prophetic declarations. There are now six in all. If you are not here last Sunday, get rid of them. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. By the anointing of today, every oppressed shall go free. Yeah. Every band of wickedness shall be loosed. Yeah. Every burden on anyone's shoulder shall be taken away. And every yoke on anyone's neck shall be destroyed. Yeah. Isaiah 10, 27 shall be fulfilled raw in anyone's life. Yeah. Among the blessings of the seventh year is the release of slaves from their captivities. So today is declared your day of release. Yeah. It's declared the year of release from every form of indebtedness. Yeah. Every financial burden shall be rolled away from your shoulder. He said, this is the man of release. You know, at the end of every seven years, you shall make a release. Everybody that is indebted shall be released. Yeah. Everyone bought as a slave in the seventh year shall be set free. Yeah. And shall be thoroughly furnished 
for the servitude he has suffered. Yes, By this anointing, the seventh year of release shall answer practically in everyone's life. Yes, you believe that? Let me hear your loudest, amen. Deuteronomy yes, chapter 15, verse 1 and 2, and then verse 14 and 15. It's your year of release. Yeah. And so this anointing is declared your anointing of release. Yeah. Every captivity is turned around. Yeah. Verse 12 to 14. Now hear what it says. If thy brother, a Hebrew man, a Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee and serve thee six years. Then in the seventh year, thou shalt let him go free from thee. We are in the seventh year of the wonder double prophetic agenda. You are going free today. Yeah. And when thou sendest him away, free from thee, thou shalt not let him go away empty. Yeah. Emptiness ends in many lives today. Yeah. Thou shalt furnish him liberally out of thy flock. Today we mark the beginning of your liberal furnishing. Yeah. And out of thy floor, and out of thy wine press, of that where with the Lord thy God had blessed thee, thou shalt give unto him. Your struggling for survival ends today. Yeah. And so shall it be. Psalm 89 and verse 20 to 24. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established. Up and down is over. <laughs> my arm also shall strengthen him. Weakness and feebleness is over. <laughs> the enemy shall no longer harass him or exalt upon him. No, the son of wickedness afflict him. Yeah. By this anointing, every harassment and affliction ends in your life. Yeah. Now wait. I will beat down his foe before his face yeah. and plague them that hate him. Yeah. I decree the realization of this verdict in your life. Today. Today. Stand to your feet. Take your bottle of anointing oil in your hand. Amen. Lift them up. Please be reminded that the third Sunday of every month is a special monthly anointing service. Fasting going on or not going on. That's what it is by heaven's verdict in our commission. And it's happening worldwide. Leave these bottles all. Now, I decree that the content of your bottles be turned into the holy anointing oil. It shall deliver as already declared. As this anointing comes on your forehead, the bands of wickedness around your life shall be loosed. Yeah. You shall go free from every captivity. Yeah. Every yoke around any area of your life shall be destroyed. Yeah. And they are all happening today. Yeah. It shall come to pass in that day. They are happening in your life today. They are taking place in your life today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. For purpose of emphasis, we are not only our forehead, but every night before going to bed, take a shot of this oil and walk free from every chaff of terminal disease. 
every chaff of stroke, every chaff of paralysis, every chaff of eye problem, partial blindness, total blindness, partial deafness, total deafness, in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Yeah. All that believe in this prophetic verdict, put a little of this oil on your fingertips and sway it to your forehead. And make your declarations of faith. I receive all the prophetic verdicts from scriptures today on my life with this fresh oil. The enemy shall not exact upon me anymore. Weakness and feebleness shall not be my portion anymore. Every yoke around my life is destroyed. I'm set free. The net is broken. I'm set free. The net is broken. I'm set free. The net is broken. Thank you, Jesus. Take all the glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Every word declared is delivered raw in your life. Amen. Your struggles are over. Amen. It's a new dawn for you. The strength required to carry through with this prayer and fasting is released. Yeah. Your rewards for me shall be in the open. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. Cover your bottles and give the Lord a big hand of praise. Yeah. Cover your bottles. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. It's the dawn of a new day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please get seated for a moment. Don't go nowhere, please. Just wait. I had a word from the Lord today, which I opened the first service with, and I want to share that with you in two, three minutes. When God's things don't matter to a believer, his matter will not matter to God. When God's commandment does not matter to a believer, that believer's matter may never matter to God. As I've cried and you will not listen, so you will cry and I will not hearken. So it's a deal. Hear me first, and I will hear you next. You won't hear me, I'll never hear you. Vision 2022 has been unveiled. Don't say that's the pastor's business. That's the ordained worker's business. That's the same minister's business. It's everybody's business who is interested. Fasting is a booster of our delight in the Lord. Then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord. And we cause you to ride upon your high places. If you are not delighted in matters of the kingdom, you can't get God delighted in your matters. Psalm 37, verse 4 Delight thyself in the Lord, and will bring your desires to pass. Delight thyself in the Lord, and trust in Him and shall bring your desires to pass. Very vital. How much delighted we are in the things of the kingdom determines how delighted God will be in our fears. The time to favor you has come. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, yet the said time is come. Psalm 102, verse 13 to 15. Because thy servants take pleasure in the matters of Zion, the church. 
Hebrews 12 defines the church as Zion. 22-24 Favor is the lot of those who take pleasure in things of the kingdom. Get involved. Engage with passion. Let your engagement be genuine. And you never, never run out of favor. Never, never run out of favor. And nothing flies like favor in the kingdom of God. God gave Joseph favor as a slave, he became an heir of Potiphar's family. He gave him favor as a prisoner, he became an official of the prison. My God. Whatever was done in the prison, Joseph was the doer of it. Favor flies under any condition. Favor flies under every condition. Please get connected. Seek you for the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added to you. Get connected. Don't be a crying baby. Get connected. That's what you must do before God will respond. Get connected. Get connected. Well, I said the other time and I said, every winner owes God 12 established souls this year. Don't say it doesn't touch me. Your things won't touch God. I've been there 52, going to 53 years now. This thing works. I preached my first message. We all know what I preached. 1970. Amen. Amen. I've been preaching crusade without being called to ministry. 1976. This, I'm not doing this because I'm a pastor. Long before I became one, since I caught the light from Matthew 33, it's been driving me. And I prayed to God in my prayer point. I said, Lord, help me to stay focused. And the term Matthew 33 as my lifelong mystery. I don't know. It works. I have never run out of favor once. 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 You can't be surrounded and not know. And favor is what sets me from being surrounded. I even said to God one time, I said, won't you be patient for someone to pray before you answer? Ah, he said that it's a common of people before they call and we answer. Why are they here speaking and perform? May you join that group this time. <laughs> Those who delight themselves in the Lord. He said, blessed is the man that fell in the Lord, that greatly delight. There are those who are delighted. There are those who are greatly delighted in serving the Lord. He said, his seed shall be mighty upon the earth. And the Lord, your prayer shall be blessed. Where well, shall be in his house and his shall endure it forever. They are restless life. For him in darkness. My God. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. He starts his feet trusting the Lord. You can't be following God's agenda and be fearful. He just guards you like a lion. My prayer is that no one will watch this thing this year. And your engagement doesn't need to be anything that you are announcing yourself about. Get to pray that every service, no unsafe soul will escape. Not getting saved. Pray that every safe soul will be established in this church where they shall be nurtured with the word of life. Pray that the outages shall be fruitful. That covers all the old people. Anybody who can eat can pray. Anybody who can eat can pray. You don't need to shout before your prayer is answered. Let's get involved. This thing works. Works like fire. Now, I close. Your church has never specialized in praying for things but praying for matters of the kingdom. From inception till now, see what your God is doing on the art project. We have not offered one prayer yet. Oh God of heaven, save the lost. Make our outreach and divorce fruitful. Establish them in the faith. Heal the sick. Set free the captives. And he's just building on his own. That's how God will be building your life. Amen. On his own. On his own on his own. Amen. You won't misinvest energy. Amen. You won't misinvest resources. Amen. It shall be your year of favor. Amen. Just get committed to favoring the matters of the kingdom. All your matter will enjoy his favor. Naturally. Uncoercedly. That will be your experience. Amen. In all my life, I've never seen any project run like this. In all my life, in all my life. I've never read it too in all my life that the greatest building construction project will embark upon leaves no stress or strain anywhere. It's awesome, sir. 
is awesome, sir. And that's how the greatest project of your life will be running from now. Yes. You will never labor for another man to eat. Yes. You will live long to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Yes. He said, you serve me. The number of your days, I will fulfill. Not they, I will. I will fulfill. The number of your days, I will fulfill. I guarantee you longevity. That's what he said. Based on your faithful, fruitful, dedicated still worship. Uncle asked for still worship. The lights of still worship. That's your portion. Stand to your feet. Come and give the Lord a big hand of praise. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light. Everybody walk, 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 walking in the light. Oh. Oh, walk, walk. Now, come and start it all over again and sing it prophetically to yourself. You are not going to struggle through life anymore. Yeah. It will be pleasant surprises yeah. from one state to another yeah. in your life. Yeah. Come on now, let's sing it two times. <laughs>